Okay, guys. Wonder the says shall never seek to end. Document obtained by Sahara Reporters shows that M R O S Oil and Gas Co Limited, owned by C U Dan Tata, the half brother of billionaire Aliko Dangote, imports premium motor spirit of Fue into Nigeria from Mata. This revelation comes on the heels of a similar discovery that Matrix Energy Group, a Nigerian energy company, also imports Fue from Mata. Dan Tata is the founder and CEO of MROS Holdings Limited, formerly known as MROS Group. Recent news in Nigeria highlighted a significant increase in fuel imports from Matar following revelation by Aliko Dangote, the chairman of Dangote Petroleum Refinery. In July, Sahara Reporters reported that Dangote alleged sabotage against his refinery, saying certain individuals within the Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited, NNPC, were importing substandard petrol products into the country. He alleged that these NNPC officials had established a refinery in Mata from which they import inferior fuel into Nigeria. He said, even at 650,000 barrels, so that is BMP, BPM, and 700 BPM that we are producing was a better quality than what we imported. And I am sure most of you will have problems with your vehicle because of the bad fuel that you imported into the country. I say stand by what I say. Go to filling stations. You can pick it up and check the quality. That is only way that all these one somebody we bring in ship, bring in fake certificates. Some NNPC people, some traders have opened a blending plant somewhere in Marta. We all know these areas. We know what they are doing. Indeed, the Nigerians' problems. Nigerians' petroleum imports from Marta skyrocketed to 2.8 billion dollars in 2023 a stark contrast to the previous year, zero dollars between 2017 and 2022, and a negligible $13.32 million in 2016. However, Malé Kiari, the, the, the group CEO of NNPC, swiftly reflected Dangote's allegations, denying any involvement or interest in a Martins plant. Similarly, Business Day recently reported that it obtained documents detailing a complex scale involving the importation of substandard Russia petroleum petrol to Marta for blending, following by shipment to Nigeria. According to the report, leaked documents reveal that Matrix Energy, a company with both upstream and downstream operations, has been importing low-grade petroleum products, blending them with higher quality fuel, and distributing the mixture in the Nigerian market. Matrix Energy assets include a 150 million liter capacity depot in Worry, three old ship matrix. Pride, Matrix, Triumph, Matrix, S-I-L-U, and approximately 600 trucks. Matrix Energy Group, led by CEO Adu Kabiri Aleu, separates, operates in both the upstream and downstream segments of Nigerian oil and gas industry. Despite allegations, Matrix Energy has denied importing substandard fuel, claiming to have constantly met approved specifications. However, the company has not denied importing petrol from Hatar. During a recent visit to the Dangote refinery, 
the House of Representatives uncovered the importation of substandard diesel by Matrix, a text of diesel samples from Total Energies and Matrix filling stations reviewed alarmingly higher sulfur levels of 2,653 2, ppm from extending the permissible limit of 50 ppm. Aliko Dangote, president of Dangote Group, was quoted as saying, our quality was one of the best in terms of quality when we create when we started the sample from total energies diesel showed a 1829 ppm sulfur concentration the sample from matrix retail shows 2653 ppm meanwhile documents obtained by sahara reporters have revealed that dangote's half brother has also been importing for from Altar, showing Nigerians big players in the petroleum industry have been importing refined fuel from the European country. One of the documents dated March 4, 2024, obtained by Sahara Reporters, is a letter from Maya Sola Kuku, General Manager of Risk Management at MROS and Oye Co. Limited, addressed to the managing director of NNPC. The letter titled Submission of Shipping Through Cargo Document for Petroleum Product Delivery, empty. Okay, with uh, a lick on 17th to 19th February 2024, provides evidence of fuel importation by MROS from Matra. Okay, guys, you go ahead it now. Nigerians have spoken so much about fuel corruption without action, making the whole world to believe that we are plain stupid. You understand? There is no action. We have big players. Big players doing this to Nigerians. The rich getting richer while the poor are getting poorer every minute. This is unfair. I'm dropping it here, guys. Kindly drop your comment below the comment section. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Please share this video.